When we rust proof the vehicle, first thing we want to do is get our equipment set up. The rust proofing equipment is the black rust proofing or cavity wax gun. What you want to do is make sure you have a regulator attached to it because we're going to use air pressure at between 80 and 90 PSI. Have your regulator set up, unscrew the top. Always shake your product up before you use it. Product should be at room temperature. Remove the lid. Slowly pour it into the container. Fill the container with one bottle. When you're done with the bottle, replace the lid, turn it upside down, let the rest of the product in the bottle go to the top. Screw on the gun. Snug it up, but do not over tighten it. If you over tighten it, you will crush the seals and they will begin to leak after a while. Hook it up to your air pressure. Attach your wand. They simply just push right in and now you're ready to begin spraying. Okay. Always start the same place on every vehicle. On this vehicle, we're going to start at the the rear, we're going to spray the hatch, we're going to do the two rear quarter panels, and then we're going to move up the side of the vehicle, spray the doors, the fenders, the hood, and come back down the other side of the vehicle. It's important that you don't miss any areas on the vehicle. Every vehicle must be sprayed the same way so you don't forget any areas. We're going to do a test spray to make sure our guns are working properly. That's approximately what you want to see is a nice atomized mist coming out of the end of the wand. We're going to insert the wand into the drain hole. We're going to take it, we're going to spray forward, left, and right until we see fog coming out the opposite end. Always keep your wand rotating. Don't hold it in one spot. We're going to spray approximately five or six seconds per drain hole. We're going to move to the opposite side. We're going to repeat that process. Now what I like to do is on the, the rear hatch, the doors, and the hood, I like to spray a real fine mist on the bottom seam. What we're going to do there is we're going to hold the wand back a couple of inches and give it a real fine misting. It's more than enough product to cover that seam. If you get too much product on there, keep a towel with you. and you can wipe off any excess product. To do a quarter panel, there's several ways depending on the model of vehicle that you're doing it. Sedans are real easy. Minivans, SUVs are a little more difficult. One of the easiest ways to get in there is to remove a tail light. And we're gonna go in through the grommet where the wire comes through on a quarter panel. To do that, we're gonna switch our wands To remove the wand, simply pull back on the coupler and the wand will pop right out. We're going to test spray this wand to make sure it's functioning properly and I'll show you how it sprays. It sprays in a 360 degree circle. To ensure complete coverage in the panel. Switch out on you here. 
We're going to take the long wand, feed it into the quarter panel as far as it will go. We're going to begin spraying and then slowly withdraw the wand. Switch things up here a little bit. We're going to move up the side of the vehicle. You guys can come on in. One area we want to make sure we spray is that wheel lip on the sides of the vehicles. We're going to take the short wand, place it right onto the wheel lip. Spray it all the way around that wheel lip, okay? If there's a plastic liner underneath here, we're gonna insert the wand up underneath the plastic liner and spray that area also. We're gonna open the doors. There's gonna be drain holes at the bottom of the door, one in the front, one in the rear of every door. We're gonna insert the short wand into that drain hole and apply the product always keep that wand moving so that fogging action takes place if the drain hole is a small hole and the wand won't fit don't force it just push it up in there as far as you can without forcing it to get the fogging action going in the door if you force it in you might put an outward dent into the panel do not force it in there. Do the front drain hole. Go to the rear. And repeat that process. Again, we're going to spray that bottom seam like we did on the hatch. With a fine mist of product. If you get any on the paint, keep the towel with you, wipe it off as you go. And the front doors are done the same way. We're going to locate the drain hole. There's going to be one in the rear and there'll be one in the front. Sometimes you will find an additional plug in the door. You can remove that and spray the product in there. Just be sure that you replace that plug when finished. We're gonna spray it up, rotate that wand, spray it forward, approximately five or six seconds per opening. You want to see that good fogging action coming out of the panel. Spray it towards the rear of the door. Keep the wand rotating and spray it up. Spray it back. Again, we're going to put a light application on that bottom seam. back of the fender can be accessed through the door opening here. We want to make sure we spray the bottom of the fender where it mounts to the body and we're going to spray it up at the top also. Simply take the wand, push it in behind the uh, sound insulation, spray it towards the outside and the bottom of the fender. Move up and repeat the process at the top of the fender. The 
wheel liners can be accessed from underneath, underneath the wheel liner and from up at the top. What we're going to do is we're going to hit it from both areas to make sure we get plenty of product in this area where the water and moisture and salt, road salts may sit. There are several access points, depends on the vehicle, but what we want to do is get it up underneath that liner. Make sure we cover that wheel lip with plenty of product. Uh, the fender can also be accessed from access points under the sides, down the middle, and at the rear of the fender. We're going to insert the wand, spray towards the rear, and spray towards the outside. Move from the fender, we're going to do the hood. The hood is done similar fashion as the rear hatch. We're going to find the access points around the perimeter of the hood. Insert the wand and spray it, always keeping that wand moving. And again, I'm going to spray that leading edge seam. With just a fine mist of product, okay? Under the hood also, if the vehicle has shock towers, we're going to spray the tops of the shock towers. I also like to spray the battery terminals help keep them from corroding. Underneath the vehicle, one of the critical areas we need to make sure we spray are the rocker panels on all vehicles. Every vehicle is going to be somewhat different as to how you can access the rocker panels to get into it. We have a drain hole right here. We're going to use a short wand again. We're going to insert it into the drain hole. Begin spraying. Keep that wand rotating. You can see it coming out of that seam all the way down that rocker panel. Push it up, rotate it, spray it to the rear, spray it forward. Move to the rear drain hole, repeat the same process. On a rocker panel that only has like these two drain holes, you want to spray about 10 seconds in each one. Get the good fogging action going in that rocker panel. Repeat the process on the other rocker panel. But those are critical, critical areas you need to make sure you spray is in the rocker panels. Also, while we're underneath here, we're going to spray the subframe assembly.
Any questions on that? Real important that you don't forget to do those rocker panels. To rust proof the quarter panels on a sedan, there'll be some slight differences, but basically what you want to do is remove the carpet and gain access to that quarter panel. On this model, we're going to do that by removing this screw hole down. We're going to pull the carpeting back slightly. And then we're going to remove the insulation that is stuffed in there so we have full access to that quarter panel. We're going to leave it off to the side. Always make sure to replace that when you're done. First we're going to use the long wand. We're going to feed that in up over the wheel well on the outside of the panel. Making sure that it goes forward. When it's in place, we're going to start spraying. And then slowly withdraw it. done with that we're going to switch back to the short wand and spray the rear area making sure that we spray down and out towards the outside of the panel Once completed, make sure to replace the insulation package and reinstall the carpet as it was. Once completed, we're going to reinstall the carpet as it was and make sure that we put the fastener back in and tighten it down. Proof the uh, deck lid. We're going to go in through the drain holes like we have before. the seam with a light coat. That completes the trunk lid. If there are additional access holes down here, you should spray those also. Next, we're going to show an alternative method through the wheel wells to get up into the quarter panels up underneath the wheel liner. The other method for doing the wheel wells is to pull back the liner and short the short wand, spraying continuously up to the rear. and to make sure that you spray the wheel lip.
Once completed, make sure the liner is back in place. And then we'll spray up and around the shock, up underneath the liner on the rear end. On some models, you will find the addition of a plastic or a felt panel on the bottoms of the vehicle, which prohibits the application of undercoating. So what we're going to do alternatively is we're going to apply the rust inhibitor above that panel. Simply pull down a section and spray along the length of that plastic panel. On pickup trucks, it will be necessary to rust proof the tailgate and we'll use both wands to do this application. On the side of the tailgate, you'll find a hole. Feed the long wand in to its complete length. Begin spraying and then slowly withdraw the wand. Then we'll switch over to the short wand and you'll find drain holes at the bottom. We will spray the product in there, rotating the wand, keeping a continuous spray. And again, we will spray the bottom seam with a light mist. All right, on full frame vehicles, you'll want to spray the rust proofing inside of the frame. We're going to start at the front of the vehicle. We're going to insert, insert the short wand. Spray towards the front, spray up, spray back, and spray down and then we'll continue on down the frame. You'll want to access an opening every couple of feet. repeat for the other side of the vehicle. On pickup trucks, we're going to treat the bed sides by taking the rust proofing and the short wand, reaching up, spraying up over the wheel wells, and spraying a complete bed side until we're about a foot above the bottom of it. The rest of it will be sprayed with undercoating. <laughs> 